In late October 2022, my friend David and I spent 10 days in Turkey. After a few weeks of travelling throughout Central and Western Europe, we were excited to see a new continent and country that seemed so different from what we had already experienced. This was our first time in Turkey. Stunning beaches, bustling cities, and lots of tea, coffee, and simits were staples of this trip. Beginning in the transcontinental city of Istanbul, home to over 15 million people, we set out to explore. Tea and coffee came standard with most meals in Turkey, which I did not object to. Many stray cats and dogs were easy to spot around the city, and were always easy going and relaxed. Istanbul had a reasonably crowded and energetic nature, however it was still easy to walk around and sightsee. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this wrap was very delicious. After spending a couple of days in the mega city that is Istanbul, we ventured south to our next destination on our journey through Turkey. A flight, a train, and a taxi ride later, we arrived in the small town of Pamukkale. A commonly served Turkish breakfast consisted of fresh olives, breads, jams, cheeses and vegetables. Simple and tasty. Known for its white terraces, mineral-rich thermal water and the ancient Roman city of Hierapolis, Pamukkale was a stunning location to say the least.
While the buses took us through some amazing landscapes, I must admit that they did occasionally get rather tiring, as you can see. But that was all worth it for our next destination. Located on the south coast of Turkey, the city of Feti was one of our favourite locations on this trip. Staying at an all-inclusive resort on the beach, we were treated to all-you-can-eat buffets, drinks, and even bread to feed the fish. Needless to say, Feti itself is a stunning location. With the surrounding mountains acting as a serene backdrop for the Mediterranean Sea, we enjoyed every moment there and look forward to visiting again. Moving on from our short-lived haven on the coast, a few more taxis and buses took us to a highly anticipated location in central Turkey. The region of Cappadocia is home to many incredible sites, both natural and man-made, including Gorome Open Air Museum, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that exhibits a collection of historical monasteries and cave churches dating back to the 3rd and 4th centuries. It's fair to say that I'd never experienced anything like this. However, these hot air balloons that fly year-round in the region have to be one of the biggest attractions to Cappadocia. An amazing sight to behold, whether you're watching from a rooftop or flying up high in a basket. Later, we explored an underground city of which there are more than 200 in the region. These extensive cave systems protected inhabitants from foreign invasion in ancient times. Roman soldier called as Semenon, and his book was called as Anabasis. That is the 
only thing that we have about sand and ground cities. So that's why also the information that we have is quite limited. We do not know everything, as I mentioned before, uh, about, under, um, about the graveyard sections. We do not know what happened exactly. <laughs> These structures were very fascinating to see and walk through to think about how old they are and who once inhabited them and for what reasons really is a humbling experience. A casual stroll through Ilara Valley was my favourite experience in Turkey. It made me think about how cool it would be to complete a long distance hike here one day. Relishing our final breakfast in Cappadocia, we once more boarded a series of Turkish transport systems back to our starter city of Istanbul. Before capping off this trip, I had to visit my new favourite cafe in all of Turkey, Vegan Istanbul. Amazing food and amazing value. This was definitely a highlight for me.
Turkey was great. We experienced an incredibly kind and generous culture, surprisingly mountainous landscape, stunning beaches, many taxi rides, and so much more. It is without question that we will return to Turkey sometime in the future, ready for more.